Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So I'm back at you with another video on my Lion Energy lithium batteries. Um, in this uh, video, I decided I'm going to take it apart and we'll have a peek inside. I figure since I'm reviewing them, I should open them up and see what's inside so I can kind of give people an indication of the quality and the build of them inside. Also, it's a good chance for people that have never seen the inside of these drop-in type replacement batteries. Um, to see what exactly goes on in there and why they, you know, they cost so much money. Um, also, you wouldn't want to do this to your own battery because as soon as you take it apart, you're going to void your warranty and you don't want to do that with such an expensive item. But because I did get these as a review sample, I'm a little, a little more uh, willing to do something like that. Also, it's very dangerous. There's a lot of energy packed into a lithium battery, so it's easy to... Uh, to go awry there and hurt yourself or dip more easily damage the battery if you have it apart so I really strongly advise not to do this but uh, I thought as part of my review it would be a good thing to uh, look inside so I notice they just have some screws on the outside there's some rubber caps here you can easily pop off and then they got screws all the way around the lid I guess in case they need to service them themselves some of them are probably sealed or glued but these ones just have some screws around there so let's pop it apart and get a look okay top off so right away you can see there's a lot going on in these drop-in replacement batteries it's not just a one big lithium battery in a box there's actually in this one there's four lithium batteries wired in a series arrangement so I guess they're each uh, 3.2 volt cells and they can put them four of them come out to 12.8 volts which makes a good battery for an RV um, other drop-in replacements use cylindrical cells really small cells a lot more of them wired in series parallel arrangement to come up with the same thing but these are what they call prismatic cells and these ones look to be aluminum cased which are which is really good they look to be really high quality can't believe how small they are they're really small for the amount of uh, amp hour capacity they have and i noticed they're using uh, aluminum jumpers here but they're also uh looks like they're welding them I believe they said they were laser welded, which is kind of nice. Some of them they're just bolted in place. Then on top you can see this wiring that's been put in. And that's the sense wires for the battery management system, which is located down over here. Let's see if I can get some light in there. I'm not going to pull that apart because that's uh, too risky. Start messing with that. But it looks like a pretty robust uh, system. There's lots of uh, aluminum heat sink in there. And quite a large board. So it looks like they have a pretty sophisticated battery management system in this. Also, you can see they've used multiple cables for the negative and positive to give you more gauge. Each of these say 8 gauge. So effectively, if you add them all together, it's probably like a 2 gauge cable inside there. So. It's designed to uh, put out some heavy current and take some heavy current charging. So I like the design. There's lots of space around the batteries for cooling. And even in between they've left a gap. Because heat is a big killer of uh, lithiums if they, if they run too hot all the time. And the uh, BMS is on this side. So that's why over here in one of my tests I noticed a lot of heating. So I must have been right on that heat sink down there was showing up over here where my temperature gun was picking up heating after my 150 amp te discharge test and over here we got a little board that's the little uh, light indicator board state of charge from 0 to 100 percent in segments notice they used uh, goop on the the molex connectors there to keep them from falling off also notice on here there's a little bit of a uh, a little bit of some type of goop to keep these connections from coming loose so all in all pretty quality board kind of cool to look inside see what's inside there's the terminals over there here's a view from the other side notice they use really nice stainless 
bolts on this heavy duty. So I have to give it to them. It's really well built, these little Lion Energy ones. But I thought you'd like to see inside, see what goes on in these uh, drop-in replacement type batteries. So there you go, a look inside the Line Energy Safari UT lithium battery. So um, my opinion looks really good in there. I like the build quality. Everything looks really, really well designed. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'll be having my full review of the battery out in a few days time, sometimes this week. So uh, stay tuned for that. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone.